Well, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock, an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I wanted to show you how I made a treasure map card. This is really fun for any of the little pirate themes in your life, and my little friend Penny loves pirates, and she also loves pink. And I thought for Valentine's Day, this would be a really fun card to send to her. So on my blog, you can get the template for the treasure map, but you can also easily make your own treasure map. Just make some lines and sort of figure out what kind of a path you want it to travel. Make it simpler for smaller children and more complex for older kids. And the template on my blog, I, I was kind of doodling around with it here because the outside pencil line, that straight pencil line, is the outside of the A2 paper. And I've adjusted the template a little bit on the download so that when you get that, it'll be more even around the outside edges but I've sketched it really loosely in pencil so you'll see how loose this is going to be when we want to get done but I wanted to be able to at least share the template with you so you can get started. I'm going to use the clearly besotted pirates that just came out because that's what inspired the whole treasure map idea. But you could use all different kinds of stamp sets to make a treasure map. You could do dogs or cats or animals, cars, all different kinds of things depending on the theme that would be most appropriate for the child you're going to send it to but the pirates were just a heck of a lot of fun, so I figured why not. I was trying to fit them based on how wide they were and were, th were they going to block the path? Because think about it, as a little child, if the path is blocked, you might think you can't go there. So I was even very careful not to have very much of that boat kind of seep into the little path because I didn't want the child to get confused by that. Of course I had at the very end, the pot of gold and all the treasure that the pirate was going to be going to look for. And there's a lot of little coins in the stamp set as well as some little gems. So I've added a little pile of fun things there too. And then it was time to get out my pen and start making my outside lines. And I made mine kind of wiggly. You can get a ruler and make it all very straight if you want, depending on the kind of theme you're looking for. I wanted this to have more of a treasure map feel. So I just did little wiggly lines, and I'm using my pencil lines as a very rough guideline. You can see I'm not tracing anything exactly, but it's, it's just a way to kind of get it started and have a little bit of a template to follow with your pen as you go along. I'm using a Copic Multiliner. This one is an SP Multiliner. There's different kinds, and the SPs are refillable, and you can replace the nibs on them as well. I'm going to speed this up a little here or else we will be here forever. I added another little dead end for that little child on the left with the bird. And as I said, you can adapt this all you want. If, you, if your stamps don't work out perfectly, you can just add another little road on the map to, to fill in any blank spots, that sort of thing, and make them fit around whatever stamps you're going to be using. I also decided to make the outside edge more solid so that the whole thing looked like a piece of a treasure map rather than having it end but you can also just have it end and fade out to the outside. Now the rest of the coloring, this, this card is more about the actual creation of the map than the coloring so I'm hyper speeding it so that we can get through this. I didn't do much of any detailed coloring on it at all but you notice that I did add hair onto the pirates so they're all girls now. There's girls and boys in the set, and I just drew little ponytails or a little curly hair on the girl on top and stuff because this is for Penny, and Penny's a girl, and her favorite color is pink, so lots of things are pink. We're going to have a pink ship. We're going to have a pink barrel. We're going to have a pink cannon. Who ever thought we could have a pink cannon, right? But you can totally customize this for whoever it is that you're giving it to. And other than a few spots like that barrel where I started trying to make some some dimension. I didn't really fuss with any shading on anything. I just did solid color. If you wanted to do this on watercolor paper and use your Zig Clean color markers or your watercolors, totally could do that very easily. Just do this onto your watercolor paper instead of onto Nina, which is what I'm using here. You could use colored pencils. You could just give the card without any coloring to the child and let them do the coloring themselves because they might even find that to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. You could do it large sized. If you have larger stamps, do a big full page and let the child fill it in and do the puzzle and do the coloring and everything 
everything themselves. Usually no kids. They just love fun things like that. I decided I was going to have a little darker color in the background and I, I kept changing my mind throughout this. So you'll see me adapt and change colors as I go along. I decided to add something that looked a little bit like a map in the background. So I've done like this uh, linear pattern and then I'll turn it and make another linear pattern so it looks like kind of the cross hatching on a map. And I'm using a 0.2 pen here which is about the same width um, or thereabouts as the the, draw, the lines in the stamps and now I switch to a different Copic multiliner. This is one of the non-refillables so it's a different body shape. It's a little less expensive too and I'm using a 0.5 to add just little crazy map lines in the background. If you're going to do this and you don't have a Copic friendly pen like that then you want to do those lines at the very end but since I was using a Copic friendly marker I could add more layers of color. So I was adding different browns in there and trying to decide how dark I wanted it to be. And then I would go over it again. I kept changing my mind. I put a little darker color right around the edges so I could add just a little bit of dimension. But I kept squinting at it to see if I could make those little kids pop, all those little pirate kids. And I wanted them to really stand out. I started trying to knock back now the path and make that a little less visible and just kept changing my mind throughout. I'm like, maybe I needed to add more color then to the actual map background portion. So I did another coating of that. And with Copic markers, you can just keep layering them. And I'm not layering with great lighting or anything or great shading. I'm just trying to make it so those portions are darker and the little pirates stand out more. That's the only point in doing it. And I'm not trying to get like super fussy with the coloring and that sort of thing. So make it easy on yourself. It is a card for a child and children are totally forgiving on that sort of thing. My little friend Penny is a real girly girl despite the fact that she loves pirates. And she loves pink and glitter and shiny things. So I decided I was going to add a lot of Wink of Stella. So there's a coat of Wink of Stella on a lot of it and then I added Stickles which will make it really shine. And then I went back and added more Wink of Stella all along the path. So I thought that would be really fun. It adds a very subtle shimmer to it, which is very difficult to capture on camera, but it's still super pretty. And I think Penny's gonna be just thrilled to get a little piece of mail uh, from me in her mailbox. I'm also going to add a little bit more depth of color because as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, I think that brown needs to go darker and look at how much everything pops when I added more coats of the brown to it. I think it made a huge difference. Contrast means the world when you're talking about getting your eye to see the difference between one image and another. It sees it based on the contrast, the light and dark on an image. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, you might want to do that. There's three more kids type cards here if you'd be interested in seeing one of those. There's links to all the supplies that I used in the description down below, as well as more on my blog with still photos, and you can pick up the template for free in my store and on the blog post both. And I will see you guys later. Have a fan, 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 fantastic day, and go create something really adorable. Bye-bye now.